welcome back to another vlog i actually just got back from target went to do a quick little haul for you guys i literally did not pick up that much stuff just some essentials that we were running low on and some things that i needed to pick up my cats needed food so picked up a box of food for them i got some organic raspberry leaf tea i've heard really good things about starting raspberry leaf tea around 32 weeks of pregnancy i'm not really to induce labor but just to support a healthy pregnancy i also I picked this one up because I saw it and decided that it would be good to have on deck when I give birth. I actually don't know when I'm supposed to start drinking this. I'm assuming once I give birth, but definitely have to do a little bit more research on this one. But I've done a ton of research on the benefits of raspberry leaf tea during pregnancy. Really excited to start drinking this. Hopefully it tastes good. <laughs> Can't go to Target without picking up some candles. So I picked up this white sand candle. This one smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it. And then I picked up Emerald Amazon as well. And this one smells so fresh, you guys. I'm like putting the camera towards the candle as if you guys could smell it. I'm insane, but okay. <laughs> I picked up this carpet order eliminator. I love spraying this before vacuuming our carpet. It just makes everything smell so good, especially with having cats. And then I picked up some dryer sheets, a bag of candy because I got hungry during my Target trip. So I had to pick up some candy while I was there. My husband will appreciate that immensely i also picked up these really cute little press on nails i love them because they had little hearts on them i actually have never tried out this brand i don't even know what the brand is but i saw it and thought it would be really cute to try I'm going to put these on later and then i picked up this little basket to put in our bathroom i plan to convert this into a little postpartum basket so i'm going to have all of my postpartum essentials in here I'm going to put this on top of my toilet so once i give birth and we come home like everything will be ready for me in one place and it's one less thing to worry about and then i saw this in like the one dollar five dollar section of target i don't know where i'm going to put this but i thought it was really cute and it was only five dollars so <laughs> I picked it up. As you guys saw from the title of this video, this is going to be like part one of me nesting slash preparing for baby boy's arrival. Also, my cat just started eating hard food in the background in case you hear munching. <laughs> That's my little fur baby. I'm going to make this a series on my channel. I don't know how many videos are actually going to be part of this series. It could be two. It could be more. I'm not quite sure, but I just wanted to document getting ready for baby boy's arrival. Mainly just for memory's sake. Like I would love to look back on these videos when i have my second child to see like what i would do differently what i would do the same and i think it will also be very helpful in case one of you guys are pregnant with me or are thinking of becoming pregnant i also really love this type of content even before i was pregnant i'm currently 32 weeks pregnant 32 weeks and four days pregnant and this is my little bump update I don't know if you guys can see. I call my little belly a soccer ball because it honestly just reminds me of a little soccer ball or basketball. I actually had my 32 week checkup today and everything's going really well, which is always great to hear. They measure my belly. They listen to my baby boy's heartbeat. I started asking some questions regarding what happens when I do go into labor. So I have a clear idea of the steps I need to take because I am giving birth in a hospital. Although I do plan on laboring as much as i can at home that's just what i would prefer i feel like i would be more comfortable at home than sitting in a hospital room laboring for god knows how long and i was just asking my doctor questions today on when i should head to the hospital since i do plan on laboring as much as possible at home so i got a better understanding of what our plan will be once that day comes which is really helpful and really nice also i don't know if you guys can tell but this eye is super watery right now i don't know why and it's really bugging me <laughs> so if it seems a little red ignore it i just think my seasonal allergies are starting to kick in which sucks because i don't want to take anything for allergies like i don't want to take any medication it's just such a pain in the butt anyways the first thing that i want to do is wash all of baby boy's clothes like they're brand new but i just still want to make sure that they're 
clean you know one last thing to worry about once he's already here i picked up this laundry detergent from amazon from the brand baby Ganics. i actually have their wipes my sister sent me a bunch of baby wipes from this brand and i've actually come across this brand a number of times this one is fragrance free which i love and it's plant-based which for our clothes we actually use the brand method for laundry detergents and that brand is also plant-based but i just wanted something a little bit more i guess sensitive for baby boy why are my ears popping i'm like going through it right now like i don't know what is going on <laughs> with me my ears are literally popping okay i actually don't have that much laundry to do because this is literally all the clothes that i bought for baby boy so far i feel like this isn't all that much because i've seen a lot of other videos of people prepping for their baby's arrival and they have like twice the amount of clothes but everyone keeps telling me to not buy too too much clothing for baby boy because he's going to uh, grow it so fast so i've only bought newborn in zero to three months i haven't even started shopping for three to six months yet obviously if i see that he's going through a lot of clothes and a lot of outfits every day because of pooping or spitting up or whatever it is i'll buy more clothes but i think this is pretty good <laughs> for his first couple weeks and months of being here with us so i just have to double check that all of these could be put in the washer all of these pieces are actually organic and i don't want to mess them up i want to make sure that i'm cleaning them correctly i also still need to remove all the tags so i'm gonna go do that now actually showing you guys the car seat and the stroller that we picked i put it on instagram but i haven't shared it on youtube yet i spent weeks looking for a stroller and a car seat like i put in a ton of research and honestly the one that kept popping up and the one that i kept gravitating towards were the nuna strollers and i know that this brand is super expensive by no means am i saying that this is the brand that you need if you are expecting a child but honestly i did a ton of research and i love what they stand for i love that they stand behind their products their customer service is really great they're also green guard certified which was really important to us and they use non-toxic materials to build their strollers and their car seat which was something else that was really important to us again i know that this brand is really expensive so don't feel pressured like that you need to buy from this brand for your kid because you don't we just wanted to so we did we got both the car seats and the stroller from nuna we actually bought the set which i'll have it linked below but the set is called trip next and pipa urban travel system i really love how lightweight this car seat is like look how sleek it looks you actually don't need a base attachment for this car seat which i thought was really cool you can learn more about that on the website because i will not explain it correctly at all if i tried it's one of their newest car seats only weighs seven pounds you guys that's one of the main reasons i decided to go with this car seat because i was in nordstrom looking at the different car seats they have and they were so bulky and so heavy without a baby in them i was like how am i supposed to carry this with our baby boy in it it's going to feel like a massive weight so i really like that this one is super lightweight and again it's super easy to attach to a car this was actually specifically made for people who live in cities like new york city or boston obviously we live in tampa we live in a city we live super close to downtown so it's just going to make traveling with the baby so much easier so the car seat is called the pippa urban I'm trying to position the camera so you guys can see the stroller but this is the stroller that we actually ended up going with this is a triv next it's one of their compact travel strollers and literally folks you guys that's one of the main reasons why I picked this stroller. Since we do live in an apartment, I just wanted something that would be compact and wouldn't be in the way. Some of the strollers that I've seen are so bulky that I know if I were to buy a super bulky stroller, I would not use it. And this one is super compact, but still super easy to navigate. We actually already took it out for a spin <laughs> because we wanted to make sure that it would like glide easily and would be easy to maneuver. We live in an area where there's a lot of cobblestones around it. So we just want to make sure that the stroller would glide through those roads and sidewalks easily. Super, super easy 
to maneuver. Very smooth. It's just a beautiful stroller, if I'm being honest. And I freaking love it. This piece actually comes out super easy. And then you can just attach the car seat to the stroller like that. You don't need this specific brand but if you are thinking of buying this brand i would definitely recommend because i love it obviously i haven't tried it out with a baby in it but so far from what i've seen and from what i've experienced i am so happy with this purchase and i have no regrets i also think it's such a good size like the bottom has a really nice size basket i was actually debating between this stroller and their travel stroller and i was going to buy the travel stroller but then my husband didn't like that the basket on the bottom of the travel stroller was so tiny he actually chose the trip next and was like let's just go with a bigger basket underneath but yeah again no regrets with this purchase so far really love it a little update on the press on nails i don't hate them but i don't love them either i think it's the shape i normally don't go for this shape when i do press ons or go to the nail salon i normally I normally prefer the coffin shape because I have such long fingers. But these aren't terrible. I don't know if I'll get this brand ever again. The hearts is honestly what's saving these press on nails for me. They're kind of cute. Let's see how long they last though. If they last for at least a week, then they'll be worth it. If they don't last for a week, then definitely wouldn't be worth it for me. These are some of the stuff that I'm going to put in my little postpartum baskets in the bathroom. So I got period underwear. Very realistic, you guys. I've literally watched so many postpartum videos and so many people recommended getting like disposable diapers, basically. I know the hospital will give me some, but I just wanted to have my own when I get home. And then some pads as well. I purchased these medicated cooling pads by the brand Tux. Literally every video I've seen has mentioned this brand and I think the hospital gives you this brand as well but I just wanted to have my own just in case they don't give me some to take home and then I also bought this upside down peri bottle from the brand freedom mom postpartum basket is done so i have the pads i have both large and overnight the disposable underwear and then i have the peri bottle tux i also added this sits bath spray it's supposed to help with itchiness and pain down there after giving birth i've heard really good things about this spray and it's completely natural hopefully it actually works i'll definitely give you guys an update once i'm in the postpartum stage and then i also also added this organic nipple butter i do plan on breastfeeding and i've heard really good things about this nipple butter as well honestly this will probably be on my nice stand for now i'm just going to keep it in this a basket and then i created a second basket with more disposable underwear and pads this basket will actually be underneath my bathroom sink the only thing that i haven't really decided whether or not i want to add are ice pads i don't know i feel like those are either hit or miss and i would just rather see if i like using the ones that the hospital gives me during my recovery stage i do like using them then i'll buy the freedom mom ice pads but for now i think i am all set so yeah so this is gonna go underneath my bathroom sink right over there and this will go behind my toilet this basket is making things so real for me right now <laughs> the fact that i'm going to have to be using all of these products in a few weeks is insane <laughs> it is now the next day my hands are so dry so i need to put some lotion on but welcome to day two of 
nesting. There's actually a lot that I need to get done today content wise but before I start on getting some work done I want to build our bedside bassinet. Since baby boy will be sleeping in the same room as us for a while I'm thinking of creating a bedside nursery just to make things easier for me when I have to do like late night feeding or late night diaper changes things like that but I really don't know how big this bassinet actually is because I haven't taken it out of the box so before I start planning on the bedside nursery and buying things I want to see how much space I'm actually working with oh my god there's a squirrel outside my window so cute it's literally only 10 o'clock in the morning but I want to do it first thing today because I've been meaning to build this bedside bassinet for a while I mean we did move a week ago so there's a reason why I've waited this long to build the bassinet but now that we're like 95% settled into our new place I feel like it's time to officially build the bassinet and see how much space we're working with our bedroom is exactly the same size as our bedroom in our last apartment so it's actually really spacious but it's a corner bedroom so it's kind of slanted in a weird way and it's shaped weirdly so I feel like I'm going to have to do a little bit of maneuvering <laughs> to fit this bassinet alongside our king size bed and our two nice sand tables i might have to get rid of the nice sand tables i don't know we shall see i'm not married to them i literally hate these nice sand tables i've hated them since day one so if i have to get rid of them i really don't care <laughs> this is actually the bassinet that we got it's the beside me wink organic bassinet and bedside sleeper by baby delight baby delight was actually really kind enough to send us this bassinet so i'm really excited i'm actually super grateful that they sent us this bassinet because I was going to buy it anyways. It's the only bassinet that I've been able to find that's actually organic. A lot of bassinets are made with horrible, flammable materials, which makes no sense to me. I'm really happy that this brand exists and that they created a organic bassinet. So I'm going to set it up. Hopefully it's not too hard. I don't think it should be too hard. And then I'll show you guys how it looks. bassinet has been built you guys it was actually really easy to build i only messed up once on the legs but that was honestly just my fault and i really like it because you can adjust the height to fit your bed i haven't attached the bassinet to my actual bed just yet because i still have a while to go before my due date i really like it i love the color it's big but it's not as big as i thought it was going to be i think that's all the nesting i'm going to do for today there will definitely be a part two so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out and yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this type of video very different from the type of content that i normally upload but hope you guys enjoyed regardless and yeah i could honestly use an app right now but yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys